I guess I better go find out what it means exactly for a grown man to get baptized. Oh, my God, are you gonna wear a giant christening gown? You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, Rory's here. Yeah, I see that. Boy, that's a pretty dress she's wearing, don't you think? Sure, it'll go good with the baby. Well, I'm gonna go check on the kids. Say hi to Rory for me if you see her first. Oh, uh, there you two are. Good. Uh, do you have a minute? I was hoping we could have a quick chat in my office before the ceremony. Oh, well... Um, sure. Wonderful. Right this way. So, I always like to take a few minutes before my baptisms to get to know the godparents a little bit. Of course, I already know you two, but I just want to touch base and make sure you understand the obligations of what you're getting into here today. Now, basically, godparents are responsible for the spiritual upbringing of their godchildren. I certainly hope the parents throw their two cents in, but the godparents are vitally important figures in a child's life. So tell me, what are your religious affiliations? Oh, well, Reverend, you've known us forever. Well, yes, I have, and I still have no idea what your religious affiliations are. Oh, well, we're a bit lapsed. Yes, from? Well, um, religion. But, you know, I can't speak for Rory, but I have a strong belief in good, you know, over evil. I mean, if I was asked to choose a side. I read the line, The Witch in the Wardrobe. I have a Bible, although I may or may not have accidentally given it to Goodwill because I'm remodeling. But Goodwill is a religious organization, I think. But even if it's not, Goodwill, it's in the ballpark. I buy tons of Girl Scout cookies. I have two Mary is My Homegirl t-shirts. Well, these are all very positive, if somewhat irrelevant, things. And it seems like your hearts are in the right place. Absolutely. Definitely. And it says something good about you both, that when a friend calls you up and asks a favor, you come through like this. Right, right. Shall we? We shall. We will now begin a series of ceremonial questions. A Lorelei Gilmore, do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces that rebel against God? <coughs> Lorelei. What? Why aren't you renouncing Satan? Huh? He said, do you renounce Satan in your paws? That's not something you pause about. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I renounce Satan. OK. Rory Gilmore, do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces that Did rebel against Rory? God? What? Did you call Rory on her cell phone to ask Satan. her to be a godmother? I renounce him. Uh, Bo Belleville, do you Who's renounce Satan? About? I'm just trying to get some information. What information? Satan can kiss my ass. How come Suki had your phone number? What? She called you to ask you to be here, which means she must have had your phone number. Excuse me, ladies? Uh, I'm sorry, Reverend. Can you just uh, give us a moment, please? What is wrong with you? Look, it's not like I really care, okay? It's not like I was gonna call you up to chit-chat or make a date to go shoe shopping or something. But shouldn't a mother have a way to contact her daughter, at least in, in case of an emergency? I mean, what if I was in an accident and I had to have a blood transfusion? You're the only person in the world with the same blood type. It would really help to have your phone number. We are holding up the service. I just think it's weird. You would give Suki your number and not me. I didn't give Suki my new number. Suki called Grandma. Grandma left me a note, and then I called Suki back, and I didn't get a new number. I lost my phone. If you lose your phone, you should suspend your service until you get a new one. That way you get to keep the same number. Ever hear of that? It's ridiculous to get an entirely new number. No one gets an entirely new number. Well, next time I will suspend my service. Um, hi. Guys, we kind of need the kids back. OK. So I'm leaving. OK, drive safe. Look, I know this is lame at this point, but you can have my new number if you want. That's OK. You can call mom and she can leave you a note. Okay.